Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna make a toolbox and some storage for the back of my Land Cruiser. I started out by taking measurements inside the back of my truck. These were conservative measurements because I wanted to make sure that it fit inside and wasn't too tight. I used a four foot T-square to draw these measurements onto the piece of wood. It works great for a big project like this. You can easily do all the diagonals as well. Then I used a circular saw just to cut out the areas that I didn't need. Now in this case, you can see that I'm leaving these little wings on, on the outside, and these were to fit behind the wheel wells. I fit this piece of wood in once I got it cut and realized that those pieces need to come off. I'll explain why later. This bottom panel was half inch plywood, but for everything else I used 3 quarter inch. Here I was cutting some strips to use for the uprights. These are going to be the sides and give the whole box its height. Once I got them cut to length, I pre-drilled some holes in the back panel, added some glue, and just started making a box. I had another piece to put in the middle to act as a divider, so I glued it in and used a speed square to keep it vertical while I screwed it in from the outsides. I traced a piece of wood to the length of what will be the front section, and then I cut it on the crosscut slit. Then I found the center point of the cabinet, added some glue, and drove in some screws from the back. I flipped the whole thing over and added some glue before putting on the bottom panel. This got held in with screws, countersunk so that they would be nice and flat. I made sure to put in screws both to the outside rim and to the cross pieces in the center just to make it really strong. Then I flipped it back over and added some drawer slides. These are flush with the bottom surface and the front edge of the cabinet. To make the drawers, I cut down some more half-inch plywood into strips. Then I set up a stop block and cut them all down to length with a crosscut sled. I lowered the blade and then cut a slot about a half inch from the bottom edge on each piece. I moved the fence over just a hair and then ran them all through again. This made the slot wide enough to accept an eighth inch plywood bottom. I added some glue to all the sides, slid in the bottom, and then nailed it all together. I just used some brads here to hold it while the glue dried. These don't need to be super strong or anything, so they're just butt joints and glue and brads. It's a very, very simple drawer. I cut down some more 3 quarter inch plywood to use as a top for the back section. I found the center point and drew an area for a handle, used a Forstner bit to make two holes and then connected them with a jigsaw. I protected the drawer slides with some painter's tape and then spray painted the whole cabinet black and the drawers orange. And when they were dry, I screwed on the rest of the drawer slides to the drawers lined up with the front edge. Next I made the drawer fronts from 3 quarter inch ply as well. I found the center vertically and horizontally and then drew a box to fit the handles. I used a plunge router to route out the area for the handle. I made shallow passes and just kept going deeper and deeper each time until the depth was correct. The top of the back section is held on with a piano hinge. I screwed it into the back face and then set the whole cabinet up on its back. I put some spacers under it, the same thickness as the top panel, and then added the rest of the screws. You can put these hinges on a few different ways, but this way keeps it laying pretty flat against the top surface. Next I slid in the drawers and then added the handles to the painted drawer fronts. I used a speed square to make sure that the handle was squared to the outside edges and just screwed them on. I added a small shim before I put on the drawer fronts and clamped them to the drawers. Once they were in place and moved freely, I just drilled a couple of holes and added some screws from the back side. I got a thick rubber floor mat to add to the inside of the toolbox. I just used a utility knife and a straight edge to cut it down to size. This stuff is going to help keep things in place and cut down on the sound of things rattling around on the inside when the car is moving. The last bit of construction here was to add the front top piece over the drawers. This just got screwed on into the uprights. Then I had another ribbed mat that I used to cover the whole top surface. This video is sponsored by Liquid Nails Fuse It, and it's the product that I'm using to put this mat down. I'm using it because it's made to attach almost everything to almost everything else. So here we've got a rubber mat and a wooden surface. It works great here. It also works for metal and stone and glass and most plastics, just about anything. You can use it inside and outside in hot and cold conditions, in wet and dry conditions. It's a super handy adhesive. It's twice as strong as just using a fastener by itself. It grabs instantly so you can keep working and then fully sets up in like four to six hours. It's a great thing to have around the shop be sure to go check out Liquid Nails Fuse It. Just have it around in case you need to stick two random things together. Once I had it glued in place, I trimmed off the outside edge. After I did this, I wished that I had cut it to size first before gluing it on. So if you do this, you may want to go that route instead. I added some glue all the way around the outside edges to try to get the edges sealed down as well as possible. I trimmed off the excess from the back piece, then I had to cut out the section for the handle. I started out with a utility knife to get this area open, but then eventually moved to an X-Acto blade. The smaller blade like that made it much easier to cut around the curves. You can see a little bit of the adhesive sticking through, so I just ran over that with some black spray paint, wiped it off, and then it was gone. The box slid right in, and I started loading it up with some essentials. Basically just a first aid and roadside kit, a small toolbox, and some straps for now. 
So this thing's pretty awesome so far. I know it's black and you can't really see it, but that's also kind of the point because it gives me a way to store some stuff in the back of this truck and if somebody looks in the window, they can't see it. It's gonna look empty from the outside, which is nice, but I can fit a lot of tools both in the back section and in these drawers that pull out. Another nice thing about this is that the surface is just a couple inches below the tailgate. So I can set things in here easily and not have to reach down if I have groceries or anything like that. I can set them right here, get to them really easily to unload. I pointed out earlier that I cut off the side pieces that kind of flared out, and there's a reason for that. Even though that piece actually fit in the area, I realized that by building it up, it was gonna be hard to maneuver to actually get it in in the first place. So I decided to cut those pieces off, and then I'm gonna make toolboxes that fit in those little gaps on each side that I can actually drop in, pull out, and take things with me. I'll probably end up building those on one of my live streams on Twitch, so if you're interested in seeing those builds, be sure to watch me there. Originally, I'd also planned to add some of these Velcro strips, their adhesive back, to the bottom of this to hold it against the carpet in the back of the truck but between the sheer weight of this thing and the friction of the wood on the carpet it's not going anywhere so I'm not really worried about it I can always add them later if I need to I'm gonna make those drop-in toolboxes for the sides and I'll probably also make some sort of trays or dividers or something to put in here and in the back section just to make it a little bit more usable as with most of my projects I'll probably end up changing it as I figure out more of what I actually want to use it for so if you have any questions or comments leave them down in the comments below or at my website I like to make stuff.com if you've made any Thing like this for your vehicle I would love to check it out you can tag me on any of the social networks and I'll be sure to see it that way I've got lots of other project videos that you might be interested in so be sure to check those out and don't forget I'm live streaming once a week at least on twitch and the link is right down there that's it for this one guys thanks for watching I'll see you next time